Right now, I am working on remaking the add-on tier list for all 700 killer add-ons in the game. When it is complete, it will probably be one of my most comprehensive works yet, and I'm putting a lot of research to make sure that all of the tier lists are accurate. While doing research, however, I found one thing that blew my mind. It turns out that the clown, on top of having a nice new red mask, might also have a nice new new add-on that we've all been sleeping on. It's the Parade Gloves. This add-on makes the clown's bottles work more like a hunter's hatchet. Instead of going up with a bit of an arc, they actually shoot very straight. When it was released, this add-on was just garbage. There was no reason to really use it at all. But some time ago, they actually added a side effect that makes the bottles now a little bit faster. And believe it or not, this does have some implications. For one, it allows you to throw bottles much further than before, which lets you find targets from a distance if you really need to. But more importantly, it allows you to react quicker in loops. Check out this situation. We are chasing a survivor around the main building of Dead Dog Saloon. And unfortunately, since I just went around this corner, I did not have any time or angle to set up a bottle ahead of time. So, pretty much with any other add-on here, this Ada would 100% beat me to the window, no matter what. But thanks to the Parade Gloves, we actually throw the bottle a little bit sooner, get the effect to happen a tiny bit earlier, and that gets us a crazy last second hit. And this wasn't the last time in this match where this happened. Later on, we also got a pretty nasty hit that was pretty much only possible thanks to the quick uh, reaction that comes from shooting so quickly with this add-on. It has its ups and downs, but honestly, if you enjoy Clown, it's it's a really interesting thing to try. And I'm gonna play a game for you guys today that might demonstrate some of its uh, weaknesses and its strengths. Alright, here we go. I am playing the Red Mask on the Red Killer with the Red Event, with Red Auras, and also I have an archive where I need to do Red Glyphs. And I don't know why, but I'm feeling I'm feeling the spirit of, of communism in me. <laughs> Everything's red, man. <laughs> What's going on? I hate it, actually. Um, hard to see scratch marks, though. No joke. I'll check here. There's two gens. There's no way at least one of these isn't being done. Mm, I thought that was a really good example. Oh, what? No. Don't show my red light. I think I attack from here. Yeah. Out of reading from Amalir's was real good though. I'm gonna do something that she's not gonna expect. Right? She's gonna keep running. Oh, what the hell? Did she benefit from that speed boost? I can't tell. I did not expect her to take a 50-50. I thought for sure she would... Oh, event lunch. I thought she would for sure like run back to the window and I'm like, okay, it's gonna look like I'm gonna throw a bottle at you, but it's gonna be a yellow bottle for myself. So it's a bit of a trick, right? That's something that you want to do as clown. Make it look like you messed up and it's a yellow bottle misplaced. But in reality, you, you have a plan around that. Oh, hi, Claudette. What's up? I'm hearing a lot of stuff here. Uh, can we aim down effectively here with this? Uh, she seems good. Very nice. We only have one bottle, though. We never bothered to reload. I think that's okay, though. Go this way. Wow, really? Well played. You honestly did not even leave, did you? Come on. That's good. That's really good. That Amalia's was amazing there. Because it let me know when she left. And that was what I needed. Alright, that gen's gonna get done and then the rest are gonna be tough. There's just... There's just no stopping it. When a gen is 80% done, and there's multiple survivors on it. I mean, unless you're a super strong territorial killer that can, like, set traps and displace them, it's 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 over. It's over. That's why pain res and pop are so good. Because a gen that's 90% gets back to 50, from 50 to 30 to 30, from 30 to nothing. So, yeah, I'm not here to complain about the perks that I chose not to bring, but I'm just letting you know that we have to accept that this gen's gonna get done. And it's probably not even productive to try to stop it. I would like to find out... Ah, uh, they need that another... Someone's hiding and someone did a gen there. There's gonna be like three survivors on this hook. We need to go back. I don't... I don't wanna g go and delve into the map and find zero people in a big map, you know? It would be awesome if we found the unhooker, though. This is only scratch marks from one person, it looks like. I'm so sorry, Claudette. You might... You might be being tunneled right now. But I just... Cannot find anybody else. Like, at all. Mm. <laughs> That was super easy. And will it be enough? Will it be enough? Will it be enough? I think not. Oh! Wait, 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 wait. 
No, no joke. She uploaded herself a little. Uh, this could be that hard. No. I'm sorry, Colin. I would literally chase anybody else, but your friends are all really, really shy. And they didn't even reveal themselves with that bird until a second ago. Mm. Yeah, a bit of an unfortunate hook, this one. I barely make it. I think I do make it, but I barely, barely make it. Please. Thank you. All right, let's be super aggro. I'll throw this right away and be ready to do what? What is this, a trash pile gym? Trash pile gym. Let's put a bottle right there. Go that way immediately. We still carry some of the speed boost. No fastball. No need to worry about that. Even if survivors have some speed boost, by the way, they will never fastball. Because... Oh, that really hurt her. Oh, that was a tricky... Dude, if that had worked, that's what's called a window tech, right? Basically, a survivor tries to go underneath your your field of view and, like, go through your model. I think it takes a lot of difficult timing. And if you're coughing from the clouds, uh, gas, it's not very good. But if she had pulled it off, that would have been seriously impressive. It would have certainly thrown me off. Uh, Colette's dead on hook, and she is a character that we're interested in right now. But I don't need to super aggressively tunnel her off or anything. I just want to make sure I don't lose her forever. Oh, I see totems being done. That's good. So far, this add-on has been pretty comfy. Uh, one thing that this add-on might actually hurt you... That was really good. Is if you... Um, yeah, sure. Nah, I don't make that. I don't make that. I don't make that. I don't make that. Oh, wait. That's good. If I had thrown it earlier... Yeah, what this add-on might do indirectly is condition you to throw bottles directly, directly, directly in front of you. In that way, this add-on could actually hurt your clown uh, learning experience. Because clown is about setup. You need to play, you know, with a plan rather than react to everything survivors do. In that regard, this add-on is counterproductive. It might be a bad idea. There's all three survivors right there. Oh, no, actually, it was only two, but, but Discordance doesn't let you know exactly when survivors leave. You want to do things like put a yellow here, then put a purple there. And regardless of what they do, it results in a hit, right? Wow. Wasn't this... That's good of them. Nice, nice, nice. I used too many bottles there for not that big of an effect. I also don't know if this Sable is the same. That was really good, though. That was real good. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I had to try. I hate that, by the way. You know why she's teabagging me, right? Because she's probably the one girl that we haven't hooked. She still has Shag. She knows that even if she plays with her eyes blindfolded, she can still hold me there for another 60 seconds. And she wants me She wants me to get her attention. This is a mistake I see people. When a survivor teabags them, they start seeing red and they tunnel that person. Do not go for her. It's time to go for Yui. Better yet, go for the other person that's hiding here. That's not Yui. And that is Homest. Oh, she used her life. That was a good toss. I'm gonna hit her once and maybe leave. It's so sad to think that adrenaline's gonna destroy me, but... I need to find Claudette. It's super important that I do. There she is. Yeah, Claudette's set on hook. If she dies, she dies. No adrenaline is gonna bring her back. Hopefully. <laughs> They're gonna change the adrenaline soon. What do you guys think we'll, they'll do to her? Uh, to her. To, to it. It could be that they make it stronger. We really don't know. We're gonna place this yellow here. Place this purple there. Alright, I waited a little bit to see if I saw her on that corner. I didn't, so I had to just swing here. Uh, that gen's gonna get done. Absolutely nothing we can do about that. Um, oof, I walked around it unnecessarily. I didn't see the auto of a hook because it's too close. Uh, we're gonna throw a yellow because I think any second right now is critical. We're gonna save a purple because we could toss it in front of us to interrupt a repair. Oh, please don't have a sabo. That's not worth it. I have to hit her. That's good. That's really good. All right. So that's both Adrenne's gotten rid of. And if I wanted to play this ultra aggressive, I would probably drop her. Oh, man. Adrenne. <laughs> Talking about the devil. And maybe go for the injured person. But I just don't know where the other person went. One thing that's absolutely my favorite, and I just realized. Oh, no. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Do not miss this bottle. I need it. No, this wasn't good. I need to reload. 
I'm gonna go for UA, see what they make uh, out of the situation. Yeah, that's quite unfortunate. Uh, I would like to aim for three kills here, but it's just a bit too difficult, I'm afraid. Uh, wait a minute. Is that hard? I, I said that's too difficult, but I'm absolutely wrong. They, they, messed up, they messed up big here. One thing that I didn't say at all, by the way. That's perfect. She's gonna drop this, right? Is that if you throw the yellow bottles a bit faster, it also has the indirect effect. Very nice. Very nice. It has the indirect effect of the yellow bottle popping sooner, right? And if the yellow bottle pops sooner, that means that it activates also quicker. Um, normally, when you pop a yellow bottle, it would take a long time for the yellow bottle to actually trigger. But in this recent update, they changed that. They made it trigger half a second sooner. So now, by default, you pop, all your, you pop your yellow bottle effect a little bit sooner, which is really good. I can't believe they picked themselves up here. Wait, that's not a good play, though. Watch out for... What? So yeah, like, if you if the yellow bottle now activates sooner by default, and also it hits the ground sooner, that means that you can benefit from it much quicker, and it's easier to use it. So, yeah. Let me try to explain or demonstrate, right? Let's say that I'm chasing a survivor. I don't have much time to think. I throw a yellow bottle. Normally, without this add-on, it's more arc, so it takes longer. By the time I go there, look, it's out of the yellow. But without these changes before, you could go through the entire white gas before it turned uh, yellow. And... You missed it. And that sucks. That's a completely missed bottle, right? So anything that makes the yellow bottles easier to use is also good. Right, so this is a bit ugly. Sorry for tunneling a little bit. Um, sorry, not tunneling. Camping in the endgame. But yeah, I'm very happy that we could bring back a fourth kill. A third kill out of this match despite, you know, playing with basically no slowdown. It was a good match. It was a good match. And a decent showcase of what this add-on does well and what it does bad. What does it do well? Allow you to do very snap second, you know... You know, uh, snap reflex, uh, last second decisions, which you typically can only do with other killers, and it's not really the clown's forte. What does it do badly? Well... Now, we have a problem, guys. If we hook this other girl, she might have a um, certain perk. Nah, we're gonna wait the 10 seconds, and if she has BT, well, too bad, I guess. <laughs> Right, well, well, we'll wrap it up. We'll wrap it up. This is gonna take a while. You know what? You were a nice girl. You actually risked your life to get your teammate. We can give you the hatch, right? Doesn't make a big difference for us. GG's. But yeah, as I was saying, there's strengths and weaknesses to this. It's not super game-breaking, game-changing, meta-defining. But if you like the clown, and I certainly do, maybe you will... Maybe you will try this, you know? Anything that gives you a newfound appreciation and a slightly new way to play the game, I think is a good thing. GG's, well played all. <laughs> yeah, well then. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And I cannot wait to have the whole add-on tier list finish. That's going to be great. Uh, I'll update you when that happens.